Baltimore, Maryland, once one of the largest cities in the United States. One of the oldest large cities in America, its population would exceed that of Boston and Philadelphia at one point, despite its later establishment. This city has seen one of the largest population declines of a city in U.S. history, which continues through today. This is what happened to Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore, Maryland was established in 1729 as one of the early major ports of colonial America. It would be established well economically early on through shipbuilding and through the shipment of goods through its port. Being a major port fairly distanced from the Atlantic Ocean, it would serve as an important strategic military target in the War of 1812 and would be attacked in the Battle of Baltimore at Fort McHenry in 1814. It would grow steadily throughout the early 1800s, becoming the second largest city in America by 1850. In 1827, one of the city's most successful economic opportunities would begin with the establishment of the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. Over time, this railroad would become one of the biggest in the East, covering much of the eastern United States and going into the Midwest. Whether it was through freight shipment or people traveling, much money and opportunity ran through Baltimore. Baltimore would continue to grow at a high rate throughout the end of the 19th century, reaching over 500,000 people by 1900. It would continue to grow well into the 20th century as well, despite a large fire in 1904 which wiped out over a thousand buildings in the city. Jobs in shipbuilding, steel, and transportation were plentiful. Bethlehem Steel's Baltimore area plant, Sparrows Point, would be at one point the largest steel mill in the world in terms of production, employing over 30,000 people around Baltimore. Bethlehem Steel's Sparrows Point shipyard would employ as many as 8,000 at one point as well. Baltimore's population would continue to grow until it would peak around 950,000 people for the 1950 census, being the sixth largest city in America at that time, larger than cities such as Boston, San Francisco, or even nearby Washington, D.C. It would only have modest declines in population in the 50s and 60s, and would remain a top 10 U.S. city in population as late as the 1980 census. However, from the 1970s onward, a steeper decline would begin. As would occur in the not-too-distant cities of the Rust Belt, major deindustrialization would occur. Over time, due to changes in the industry, increased competition, outsourcing, and other factors, Bethlehem's steel plant would slowly wind down in its employment of people in the Baltimore area, until finally, in 2012, the plant was completely closed altogether. Declines in mining freight and passenger travel would eventually contribute to the end of the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad which would be sold off in 1980 and eventually cease to exist entirely in 1987. The Sparrows Point shipyard would eventually downsize as well, and eventually would close altogether by the 2000s. All these weren't the only major employers in Baltimore. They symbolized the decline more than almost any. The city would also struggle with segregation and much social and racial tension. The city's crime would also increase and would become a major part of its reputation. Much flight would occur and the city would be left with thousands of abandoned row homes. The downtown would see some revival in the 1990s with the construction of Camden Yards, bringing much money back downtown, since the ballpark was seen as a marvel at the time. Its current largest employer is also one of the greatest colleges in the United States, in Johns Hopkins University. Its waterfront access also gives it economic potential as well. So what happened? Even though Baltimore is not a Rust Belt city, much of its economy would suffer many of the same consequences that Rust Belt cities would. The job and population losses have left a void that hasn't resulted in a whole lot of investment, unlike cities such as Detroit, which have received a lot of reinvestment despite the large decline. Other East Coast cities lost a lot of population as well. However, they have managed to bounce back in more recent decades. Baltimore simply just hasn't bounced back in the same way, likely due to a combination of crime and its dependence on old industry. It remains to be seen where it goes from here. Thank you for watching.